<laughs> Our next guest has been rocking and getting people on the plaza to sway all uh-huh. morning long. Charlie Puth, Grammy, Golden Globe nominated singer and songwriter, 15 billion streams, eight multi platinum singles. A lot. He has a new album coming out in October. It's called Charlie, and he's with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good Charlie. morning. I told you, I feel like a proud auntie. Yeah. <laughs> we co hosted together how many years ago? I know we did. I'll never forget that day because attention went straight to number one. After, oh, really? Right when we had a. Can I get a royalty check? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. you're right. You're right. But no, That's his funny. parents were That's here, funny. whatever, and now you're all fancy. So, how does it feel, though? I mean, seriously, you've had a journey. I, I, I have had a journey, and it doesn't feel like work when I come here anymore. It does feel like very family oriented. I, I think this is my seventh it time, seventh awesome. time, seventh time awesome. on here. So, yeah. Yeah. you're I'll like the it. house band now. <laughs> yeah, I'll I take know. It, I'll take it. You know, I've, I've always wondered about it. I've always loved your music, and every, it's like everything you put out, it's just so catchy. It stays in your head. You write a lot of songs for other people, too. Mm. I do, yeah. So, how, how do you decide what to keep for Charlie mm. and, and what to sell to, to a friend? It all it all depends on the artist. There's um by the Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. The I do the same thing. I you did you. that? Uh, yeah, I wrote that song <gasps> oh, with yeah. a couple of friends. I, I would have kept that, Charlie. <laughs> no, well, so everybody asked me why didn't she keep that? It was never my song to begin with. I had been listening to a lot of Chicago records from the wow. '80s and night before, and uh, when you slow that piano part down, boom, 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 boom. If you slow it, boom, 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 boom. It sounds like sugar, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to make something like that. So I went to my keyboard and Leroy walked in and started singing the melody that I was playing. And usually it, with a complex melody with a lot of notes, you want to counterbalance it with mm-hmm. like a little about a nose you know yeah i'm like yeah, sure music. i played We're like, it. i did play the clarinet <laughs> it was like yes i know what but you he mean. made that song his own it was never awesome. my song i just did a little drum yeah and then bam so what's going on with you and bts oh. all right i'm looking at videos last night and i said uh, the, what, the, what, the, what was that guy <laughs> right <laughs> right well i have with jungkook he's featured um he sings the song mm-hmm. uh left and right with me which i performed not too mm-hmm. long ago out there and I always want my collaborations to be with those uh, that I've performed with before, have some sort of musical vibe with. You know, it's interesting because I am a proud auntie of yours. I remember when you started hanging out with your buddy Elton John. Right, yeah. (laughs) And I was like, man, that's pretty cool. We're neighbors. That's the coolest part. Oh, you really are. Next Door Neighbors, we were working on, um, I started off his album with him right during the pandemic. And... I, he gave me his address and it was walking distance. The the Google icon for oh, driving crazy. didn't even show up. I just walked right across that's the street. Awesome. But he tells you at one point your music sucked. We were. He was trying. Harry was trying not to use that word, but it right. is. He's well, I said it. For yeah. Him. Well, he he was he he was he was not as harsh as I make 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 it out. He was just very honest with me, and I really appreciated Absolutely. that because nobody had been honest with me. Because there's a, sometimes a time where like oh, yeah. you don't want to step on the exactly. artist's toes. Exactly, but... Charlie. Well, listen. Thank you. Yeah, you thank are you. a delight. Thank you. We're so happy for what your success. Pleasure. Charlie's new album. It's out October seventh. You can pre-order it today. Welcome back. We are so excited on this Friday morning to have great. Grammy nominated singer songwriter Charlie Puth with us on our city concert yeah, stage. Yeah, just this week, Charlie announced that his third album, it'll come out October 7th. That's Charlie, right. good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This good morning. Al- Hi, everybody. Do you know? Do you know that people sleep on concrete uh, overnight uh, so that they can see you in the morning? Do they line up? And they have been waiting all night to see you. I don't know why. <laughs> I appreciate what, what that. Is it? Tell us about this album, because there's every one is unique in its own way. People actually got to see the process as you made this on TikTok. They tuned in. Right. I wanted people to. I wanted everybody to feel like they wrote the song yeah. with me. So by the time uh, it came album release time, they felt like, uh, oh, I had part of this song. I wrote it. I love it. What is? Go ahead. No, I was just saying this is your third album, but this is this one is self titled this yeah. one's called Charlie. Why is yeah. why is this one self-titled? In the past, I'm I, I I love my first two albums, but this is the most true I've ever been. I know that's super cliche to say that, but this is the album that I would have put out if this were my first. Album. Why why didn't you? 
I was, you know, record label stuff yeah. like, at the time. Yeah. Different record label mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, Hoda asked earlier for people to raise their hands if they follow you on TikTok. I am blown away. What is it about the community that you mm-hmm. love? I mean, you're making songs there. You really connect with them there. All I want to do, and this is for everybody, all I want to do is inspire you to make music out of non-musical things because even the subway running in the background right now mm-hmm. is J-flat something. So like that, wow. could, you could layer that and then... Uh, our, our, the, the sound of your voice could be made into a song. Anything could be made into music, and that's why I joined TikTok, was to just prove that. And for the people who didn't watch on TikTok and they're wondering, how do you make music? First of all, you have perfect pitch, which is one of those incredible things. I'm thinking of the subway sound now. Is I'm that to yeah, 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 yeah. the notes? Yeah. But you also scratch things down in the note section of your phone. You have different ways of making music, right? Well, definitely. I mean, this next one we're going to perform for you came to me in a dream, and I just had the... And I wanted to play with panning because that's how the Beatles used to have their vocals on either side of the left or the right side. So does it just come to you like that? Like in the middle of the night, you get literally. A- it happened on the plane right here yesterday. What and came I just, then? Uh, just, I, you'll hear it. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's Another good. Yeah. What a morning it's been out here on our Plaza Pop Sensation. Charlie Puth has energized this crowd. Has it energized the crowd? Charlie has a brand new album coming October 7th, but right now he has a treat for us, one of his biggest hits. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's called We We Don't Don't Talk Talk Anymore. Anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Poof. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore.
you out of my way.